Hello everyone, in this playlist, we will learn how to create web applications with Python. You can get everything you need about the web application by following the playlist. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video. First, let's learn what the Python Streamlit library is. Streamlit is an open source Python library that is used for creating web applications with minimal effort. It is designed to make it easy for data scientists, engineers, and others to turn data scripts into shareable web apps. With Streamlit, you can create interactive and customizable web applications using just a few lines of Python code. Now I will create a simple web application. I will be using Visual Studio Code throughout the playlist. If you don't have Visual Studio Code installed on your computer yet, I will add a video link in the video description. You can learn how to download Visual Studio Code by following the video. If Visual Studio Code is installed on your computer, let's continue. I click on Open Folder. I am creating a project file. I will install a virtual environment in the project file. A virtual environment in Python is a self-contained directory that houses a specific Python interpreter and its associated standard libraries and site packages. The purpose of a virtual environment is to create an isolated environment for a Python project, separate from the system-wide Python installation. This allows you to manage dependencies and packages on a per-project basis, avoiding conflicts between different projects that may require different versions of the same library. Virtual environment installation is not mandatory for developing web applications. You can not install it if you want. However, with this method, you will solve many problems you may encounter in the future before they encounter them. I strongly recommend you to install virtual environment. Now let's learn how to set up the virtual environment. In the terminal section, I click on the new terminal option. I will create a new command prompt. You can create a virtual environment by writing this code. The name here is the name of your environment. You can choose a different name. After pressing enter, the installation was completed. A file with the name specified in the code file has been created. There is a file named activate in the scripts file. We can run commands in this file. Let's run that file first. I go to Venv file. I go to the scripts file. I'm running the activate file. The commands I will write after this stage will run in the virtual environment. You can check here to make sure you got to this stage without any errors. If you see Venv text, there is no problem. If you don't see it, please repeat the steps in the video. Now I'm going back to the Venv folder. I will transfer the library we will use. You can transfer the Streamlit library using this code. Under Library, you can see all the libraries and frameworks available in the virtual environment. We can also see the Streamlit library here. I will create a Python code file in the Venn folder. I am importing the Streamlit library. I can start the web server by typing streamlit run and the file name on the command line. Before writing the code, make sure that you are in the correct path and that it says venv. I copy the URL. Go to this URL in any browser. We created an empty web window. 
Now let's add some text to the web page. I am sending a text to the title function. I am saving the code file. When I refresh the page, the new text is shown on the web page. I add a header. I am saving the code file. Header added to the web page. I add a subheader. Subheader added to the web page. You can also use the text function. In this video, we learned how to create a web page. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video.